Hello and welcome everyone to today's episode, episode 152 of the Living Healthy Today podcast, where we're going to be going over the new Roots and Fruits product. My name is Carolee Cohen. I'm a certified nutritionist, health and wellness consultant, sports nutritionist, weight management consultant, and master nutritionist, and probably more importantly, have spent way too much time being the patient and having to figure out my own health solutions. And I've had the privilege of having some really, really terrific mentors, of which I'm very grateful to have had. So with that, in case you missed our last episode, we're returning to the podcast after a very long absence. I actually started the podcast in 2018, took some time off for some personal reasons and also some medical training that I was taking early in 2023. And as of now, I'm returning to share some of that new information and to get back to the fun of interacting with all of you and hopefully bringing you content that can help you with challenges that you might be facing. And with that, I also wanna mention that because my schedule is still a little bit all over the place, there's some travel, there's some ongoing training. Instead of doing live episodes like I have in the past at a set time, I'm going to do them kind of as they fit into my schedule. The goal is to do a start to, to do several episodes a month, but they're going to be recorded and available to watch anytime at your convenience. And I'll be sending out notifications when a new episode has been posted. You can find all of the recordings at livinghealthytoday.podbean.com. And also if you'd like to be on the notification list for when new episodes are released, please send me an email, info at wellnessspringsinc.com. Remember that wellness has two S's at the end. Spring starts with an S, so that's three S's in a row. And then springs is also plural, so there's another S, info at wellnessspringsinc.com. And before we go into today's topic about roots and fruits, we're going to talk about the state of American health and some of the things going on currently, and not just American health, the world's health, right? And that will include the names of some things that are going to require our disclosure statement. So remember that the following information in this podcast is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The statements presented here have not been evaluated by the FDA, not a substitute for medical advice, nor are products a substitute for prescribed medication. You should always consult with your own common sense and do your own research as well. Now, we are going to talk about the roots and fruits. This product isn't brand new, but it is fairly new. And I think most people actually missed that it was even available. And it is amazing new kind of upgrade to our standard protocols that we like to use that include the ginger, the turmeric, the muscadine, and it adds a fourth ingredient. And so to learn about this, actually the creator of it put out a great video and I'm going to go ahead and play that video. And then once the video is over, I'm going to come back and make a couple of comments on dosing because I know a lot of you are already using these products. And I want to share with you kind of how it compares and how I would be using this if you choose to switch. So with that, let's go ahead and go to the video now. Focus on health and wellness. And I love that. Um, I love his knowledge and, and his willingness to share for the betterment of others. Here's a great picture of Todd in front of the mother vine, the muscadine mother vine. He's going to talk more about that tonight because that is one of the great products in um, the roots and fruits that we're going to be focusing on here. But why does he do this? Why is health and life so important to him? And that is his beautiful wife, Darcy, and these amazing, beautiful women. And of course, a new son-in-law there and soon to be grandson. So with that, we're going to get to today's call. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. We're going to go live here and we are going to welcome Mr. Todd Smith to the screen. Todd, how are you? Fantastic, Patty. Can you hear and see me all right? 
I can, I can. Look at, I've got my bottle right here and it is half empty. I need to order more. We're twinners. <laughs> we're twinners. We're twinners. Well, I'm so excited for you to share the information about the power behind these great roots and fruits and uh, the added ingredient that that is included here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the call over to you. Thank you so much, Patty. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to uh, to share about this amazing product with our Canaway family. Hello, Canaway family. Excited to be with you. And I'm very excited about this information. Let me go ahead and uh, share my screen so that, that we can get started. All right, Patty, can you just confirm that, that the slides are working? Yep, you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, uh, folks, we've got a great opportunity to talk about something that has taken years and years and years to develop and a product that is four products in one. And so from a convenience standpoint, this has really, really simplified, uh, you know, our, our program and what we do every day as far as trying to be healthy. But one of the things that I want to do before I go into the details of the product is I want to talk about why it matters. I mean, why, why do we care? And, and it's really important for us to understand where we, were, we are at as a population, as a people, when it comes to disease. The last 30 to 40 years have not been good to us, okay? Um, they've actually been very, very bad for our health. And uh, we get a terrible report card uh, on the healthiness that's happened in the last uh, 30 to 40 years. So with that, I want to go ahead and go through a few of the statistics of what we're facing to support and kind of reinforce in your mind why it matters and why we need to take a minute to think about this. First of all, the solutions that we've been following as a people have not done well. So we need a new solution. And that's what is really presented here tonight is a new solution to health. See, back in the uh, 1960s, it was estimated and forecasted that 4% of the U.S. population would suffer from chronic disease. As you probably expect, that 4% was way too low. In fact, Today, 60% of adults in America suffer from at least one chronic disease, and 42% of adults suffer from two or more. So the forecast was completely wrong, um, and you know, by, by about 15 times. And so then the question is, what has happened? Why? Why, why did we get so sick uh, across the entire population? And, uh, and what can we do about it? Well, before we go into that, let me show you some of the statistics that, that support what we said about 60% uh, having chronic illness and 42% having two or more. Here's some of the examples. We've had a 41% increase in deaths from heart disease. That's probably not a surprise to you because we all know somebody in our family and neighborhood, friends, someone we go to church with who is suffering from heart disease. A 45% increase in asthma, a 50% increase in digestive disorders, 50% increase in food allergies, 250% increase in epilepsy, three times as many diabetics, three times as many uh, people having difficulty having children, 783% increase in deaths from Alzheimer's disease, 4,200% increase in autism. So why in the world is that happening? What is different today compared to 30 years ago, for example? Uh, what, are, what are we doing different today? What is the same? And, you know, we could say a lot of different things. I don't think any one is the real answer. I think it's actually a smorgasbord, if you will, of, of changes in our food supply, of changes in the number of chemicals that we're exposed to, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just go in and look at a few of these. Um, one of the things that, uh, that we're going to use here in this description is the acronym TIDE, the rising tide of disease. And we're going to cover these four topics the influence of toxins, uh, the result of inflammation, digestive disorders, and the effects on essential nutrients. So let's talk first about toxins. You're probably already aware that uh, the number of chemicals that have been approved for cleaning in our homes and all those types of things, treating our, our linens, our carpets, our, our uh, clothing, the number of things that have been approved for use 
uh, on all of these has uh, has grown exponentially. But where it's really increased is in the use of agricultural chemicals. So uh, the herbicides and pesticides, but also in our processed foods, whether it comes to um, food additives that are adding color or dye, but also preservatives. This has happened because the percentage of, of the food that we're eating uh, that is fresh or live as compared to processed has greatly changed. Um, in fact, we've switched the the uh, flip the envelope. It used to be 70% of our calories were coming from natural, live, fresh foods, and 30% were coming from what we would say processed or preserved foods. And now it's the other way around. Now we're consuming uh, seven over 70% of the calories that, uh, that we take in in America are now processed foods, and less than 30% are actually live nutrition uh, natural food. So with that change in the percentage of natural versus processed foods, and then of course, also the toxins and pollutants that we have in our air and the water we breathe, the, I'm sorry, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. So just to back that up, uh, there have been 36 neurotoxic chemicals that have been registered and approved for treatment of agriculture just in the last 30 years. Um, glyphosate is one of the big ones that significantly disrupts the functioning of beneficial bacteria in the gut, but also in the soil. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, this is the, a little bit of a show, a display to show these, the increase of toxins has happened. So also has the increase of celiac disease. And you'll see that, you know, as glyphosate on wheat has increased, so has the incidence of celiac disease. How about the uh, increase of glyphosate compared to um, the uh, the death rate with regards to intestinal infections? You can see kind of a correlation there. Um, glyphosate on the corn and soy to autism increase. How about the use of glyphosate applications compared to deaths per 1,000 as a result of dementia? And, of course, diabetes. Look at the difference in the use of glyphosate. As glyphosate and these chemicals have increased, we see an increase in these chronic diseases. Now, that's the first one is the toxins that our bodies are exposed to. And as the toxins increase, the demand on our body for nutrients in order to uh, to new, uh, neutralize and eliminate those toxins um, actually increases. Our body needs more nutrition as we are exposed to more to toxins. Now, the other thing that happens, and this is the second point, is the eye in tide for inflammation. Inflammation is a common result of our body having to identify, neutralize, and eliminate toxins. So inflammation is increasing. Well, what is inflammation? Well, a similar comparison or a great way to... Uh, an, um, to give energy to this is to think of road congestion, right? We've all been stuck in traffic before and what happens? Well, everything comes to a stop. Everything comes to a halt and there's, it slows down the movement. It slows down uh, the progression and what happens in our body as well. The, uh, the movement of nutrients around the, around the body, the elimination of toxins, all of these things, they all slow down. Healing slows down uh, when inflammation is present. And so um, in 2006, in a Harvard Health letter, they said research is showing that chronic inflammation may be the common factor in many diseases. That was in 2006. Now look what uh, um, John Hopkins Health Review said just 10 years later. They said that chronic inflammation is linked to numerous diseases like Alzheimer's, arthritis, lupus, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and depression. I would say this right here tells us um, by 2016, the medical community recognized that inflammation was a key factor in the increase of chronic disease in America. Our next one is digestion, right? TI, there's toxins, inflammation. Now we're talking about digestion. What's, what's the situation with digestion? Well, inflammation and digestion uh, do not mix well because what happens is the inflammation causes the little hair-like follicles inside the intestines to swell. These are called villi, and as they swell, they cut off circulation from each other, and they also die off, and they create gaps. You can see in that little blow-up picture there, as those, as those uh, follicles die off, 
you end up with undigested, unprocessed foods and nutrients and toxins making their way through the barrier, the intestinal wall, and into the bloodstream, which then triggers an immune response. And the body has to go and, and, uh, and neutralize or attack those undigested, unprepared unpre items and, uh, and isolate them and eliminate them. Well, well that, that immune response is then categorized and diagnosed as an autoimmune disorder, where they'll tell you your body is attacking itself. Well, the body's not attacking itself. It's attacking these uh, unprepared, undigested foods, nutrients, toxins, whatever. They could even be good nutrients, but if they're not prepared properly before they pass through the intestinal wall, now they're an enemy to the body. So look at these two pictures. You can see the top picture there is health, a healthy intestinal wall with those villi filling in all the gaps so that the only thing that passes through them, they have to be small enough to pass through the microvilli, which are the very small like carpet fibers on the ends of these villi. And they have to pass through those in order to get into the villi and then through the villi in order to get into the, the bloodstream. And you look at the bottom picture there where the villi have been compressed and damaged and and uh, and now you're getting gaps and things are something that leaky gut syndrome if you've ever leads to a whole list of autoimmune disorders as your immune system then goes on high alert to try and attack and eliminate these uh, these foreign objects that aren't supposed to be getting into the bloodstream. So this can lead to all sorts of problems um, when your digestive system is inflamed. And when we are putting, you know, high amounts of these toxins onto the foods that we're eating, um, not just the agricultural ones, but also the preservatives and things in all the processed foods, you can understand why we have such a high percentage of Americans today suffering from uh, poor digestion and then a whole litany of other disorders because when you can't digest food, you end up with deficiencies and those deficiencies lead to a number of other diseases. So that leads us to our last and fourth point, which is the effect on essential nutrients. Some of you already know about the deficiency syndromes that happen when we do not get a adequate supply of nutrients in our diet. And that's becoming harder and harder, one, because of the ratio of processed foods that we're eating, but also because the agricultural soils that we are using are being basically mined of their nutrients year after year after year. And since, uh, you know, the last 50 years or so, we've only been using chemical fertilizers, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, NPK. And so we're harvesting out all of these trace minerals and nutrients from the soil, but we're only putting three back in because that's what's been identified to grow a, a you know, a large crop and harvest a plant. But what we've what we've missed in that formula is the fact that the plants used to have high levels of a lot of these trace minerals, and now the, those levels have gone down, down, down. You can see that uh, in the dotted blue line there that shows the amount of nutrient levels and mineral levels in the food over time. And you can see it had a massive drop, and then it's just continued to drop over time. Um, and that is right in in uh, concurrence with when we started to uh, to notice this increase of chronic disease and mineral deficiency diseases. Um, and this is just to give you an example, but you could look up in the U.S. Department of Agriculture. We've known since 1920 uh, with Senate Document 264 that our soils were depleted, and we haven't done anything to really help that, um, except on some of the uh, organic farms where they're not using chemical fertilizers, but are actually using compost and na natural compounds going back into the soil. Because one, it's the amount of nutrients, but more than anything, it's the amount of nutrients that are available. Well, what makes those uh, bacteria and flora that live in the soils that then break in the soil so the plants can take them up? And so we have a couple of things happening there. We're not re-nutrifying the soil with the minerals, but we're also not putting back organic material that will allow the soils to break down and decompose so that the plants can take those nutrients up. End result, 
you and I are not getting the level of nutrients that our grandparents did as we eat fresh produce. So does this apply to you? Well, the question is, are you aware of the warning signs? We're all familiar with the warning signs on the dash of your car, right? That, that warning light comes on, what do you do? You reach over in the glove box, you grab out the masking tape and you cover that light up on your dashboard and you're good to go because that light's not blaring in your eyes anymore. Now, you know that's not what we do. When the warning light comes on, what do we do? We contact our, our car repair place, our mechanic and say, hey, what's going on? And they can then go in a little deeper and look and investigate and diagnose what the problem is so that we can get that fixed. Because if you ignore the warning light, for example, say the oil light, what happens to the engine? Well, eventually that engine's gonna burn up, isn't it? And you're no longer gonna be moving uh, that vehicle very easily. Well, that's kind of what happens with the body. We have warning indicators or warning signs going on in our body as well. And we've gotta be aware of them, watch for them. And when we do, that tells us to investigate and figure out what's wrong. Here's a couple of warning switch, leg cramps, ringing in the ears, stiff shoulders, joint pain, cavities, a craving for something sweet, feeling hungry even when you're physically full. Does that ever happen? You've, you've eaten a great meal, but you still feel like you need something. Um, that's usually an indicator that the meal you ate didn't have a lot of nutrition in it. Do you ever have times when you can't remember a specific word, right? And I mean, this happens, uh, you know, enough times that uh, that you know happens to all of us, but we're talking where it becomes a chronic thing where you just cannot pull the word out. Um, I kind of tell myself we have to have a little grace when my wife and I have eight uh, eight daughters. We're going to mess up their names now and again, but but if nothing comes to mind, that's where we're talking about. Um, how about feeling bloated or constipated or experiencing diarrhea or bouncing back and forth between the between those with irritable bowel? These are all warning signs that there's something wrong. There's something going on, and we need to get to the root of it. Over the years. Uh, they've had a lot of different terms for these kinds of illness. They uh, they wanted to talk about the coming epidemic of arthritis, the secret killer, right? The stealth killer. <laughs> and, and these are showing themselves in different forms, calling it arthritis, calling it inflammation, heart attack, cancer, Alzheimer's, high blood pressure. These are all quietly creeping up, they're saying. But at the root of all these is something called chronic inflammation. And that is what happens in our body when we are either exposed to too many toxins that the body can't deal with, or it, the uh, the toxins or the things that are attacking the body, it could be an infection or, or something like that, are causing the body to get inflamed. But because the body doesn't have the tools, it doesn't have the nutrients it needs, um, it's overtaxed. The immune system will not shut down and it stays inflamed. That inflammatory response triggers and it stays in place. And then that causes the surrounding tissues or, or uh, correlating tissues to become inflamed as well. And it becomes kind of a catapulting cycle of doom as more and more areas and systems in the body become inflamed. And then we end up with chronic illness after chronic illness, after chronic illness. And we say, my goodness, what in the world is happening? And what can I do about it? And that's what leads us to tonight's topic. And that is the idea of, is there something in nature, something natural that we can consume in our bodies that one will give us the essential nutrients we need, that two will help fight off the inflation, uh, the inflammation, three will help the body detoxify itself and reduce the autoimmune response and will clean up the digestive system and allow us to calm those villi down so that we can absorb nutrients again, also has the tools that are necessary for our body to fight off and boost the immune system. Well, we're going to talk about some powerful, powerful things that uh, God created them. All we did is combine them together in a very convenient and easy way for me to get these in and put them to work right away. We're going to talk about ginger. We're going to talk about turmeric. We're going to talk about muscadine and fulvic minerals. Uh, let's jump into ginger. So ginger's been used, uh, both ginger and turmeric have been used legendary, uh, legendary roots of health that, uh, th that have been used for thousands of years uh, to help people uh, overcome a lot of illnesses. And uh, and so we're, 
we're, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about them. But what we've found here is a very unique source of ginger and turmeric from a, uh, an island, a remote island in Fiji. And on this island, they discovered these ancient roots of health, ginger and turmeric, that have, like I said, have been used for thousands of years elsewhere, but have never, uh, we don't have access to the heirloom roots anymore. We don't have to uh, to find them because they've been hybridized and chained, and uh, and so these particular roots that were discovered back thousands of years to what ginger and turmeric was like back then before it's been changed for flavor and aroma, the ancient roots of health. So what does ginger do? Well, if you go to PubMed.gov and you type in ginger, you'll see that there's been over a thousand clinical studies performed and published about the benefits of ginger. You'll see that ginger is legendary for helping with nausea and weight loss, arthritis, blood sugar, heart disease, digestive disorders. In fact, there's a great study that shows that ginger is the only thing we know of that helps to repair damaged villi in the digestive system. Helps with menstrual pain, aberrant cells, which as you research aberrant cells, those are the cells that replicate faster and could lead to cancer if not can help with brain function all forms of infection, bacterial, fungal, viral. It's just an amazing, amazing root that the body knows what to do with it in it to do all of these amazing things and more. So I said a thousand clinical studies have already been performed on ginger and published at pubmed.gov if you want to go look at those. So what does Canaway bring to us? Canaway brings to us this unique heirloom form of ginger, again, discovered in the, in the uh, jungles of Fiji. They are hand cultivated, processed on that island. Uh, them, they, they clean them in the seawater, they slice them up, dry them in the sun, and then grind them. And we receive that powder that we then put in in our capsule. So we love the amazing pink Fijian ginger that Canaway brings to us. Now let's turn to the next root of health called turmeric. Again, you've probably heard of the benefits of turmeric and curcumin. Um, but over the, the thousands of years since it uh, was, you know, started to be used, uh, it has it has been hybridized and changed as well. In fact, most of the turmeric that you find on the market today has been adapted to create to uh, create certain flavors and aromas of curries um, and things like that. They are no longer the old ancient root. They've been passed on and grown in in uh, polluted soils and swamplands uh, in many parts of the world. And so and so we're we're lacking uh, in, in having the original and the very, very potent and powerful roots that existed a thousand plus years ago. Um, but even with that, if you go to pubmed.gov again and type in turmeric or curcumin and do some research there, you'll see that there's over 10,000 clinical studies that have been performed and published on the benefits of turmeric. And so just to mention a few of them, you'll see studies about how it's a natural anti-inflammatory, how it boosts antioxidant effects, how it boosts brain function, how it lowers the risk of brain diseases and, uh, and reduces your risk of heart disease. Turmeric is also shown to help fight and even prevent aberrant cells, um, the preventing and treating of diseases like Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, and Lots of studies you can go look at. Again, over 10,000 clinical study, studies per, and published about this amazing root. So where does Canaway come into this? Well, Canaway also brings from that remote island in Fiji, again, a rare species that we can't find anywhere else in the world of turmeric root that was discovered in the jungle. It's been preserved and growing there. It's the heirloom ancient root of turmeric. And so... Potent. It has a very different chemical makeup. The laboratories tell us this stuff is, is the oldest known heirloom type of species we know of and very, very unique in the results that we get from it, much higher absorption, etc. So those are the first two, ginger and turmeric, which leads us to number three, which is the muscadine. And you're saying muska who, right? Maybe you haven't heard of the muscadine. Most people have not because it's only been the last eight to 10 years that they have identified that the muscadine was something that people needed for their health. 
Muscadine is now, by most of these researchers, considered to be the super fruit, the best super fruit. It grows only in the southeastern United States, um, but it is loaded with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory. It was actually ignored for many, many years because it's not as palatable as the European style grapes, meaning it tastes great. It has a juicy, sweet juice. However, the skins are very, very thick and hard to chew, and the seeds in it are very large and very bitter. And so the muscadine, uh, once the European uh, grapes were brought over, the native muscadine was kind of discarded or forgotten, and it's just grown wild in the woods and the southeastern United States ever since, until years ago, where there was an increase in cultivar and cultivating of the muscadine because of the discoveries that happened there. These discoveries were led by a gentleman who had a chronic I've been covered from the illness, and a friend of his suggested that he try traditionally in that area. There were people that were using the seeds and the skins to treat illness. So this gentleman said, well, what do I have to lose? He was a very, very wealthy ind individual. So he started treating himself with muscadine, grapes, seeds, and skins, and he overcame his his. Uh, an illness. And so he turned around and wrote a check for $2 million university to find out what it was research this amazing superfood. Well, the that triggered all sorts of research across the country. It's now being researched in, in more than a dozen national universities and medical centers um, because it is so unique in its makeup. And uh, and now just at Wake Forest University, there's been over $25 million of clinical research done and still ongoing at that facility. Um, and the discoveries that they're making are just absolutely miraculous. So that Here's a little visual so you can see those thick, thick skins and the the pulp inside and those big bitter seeds. Um, it just really is one of those things where traditionally, if you went out in the forest, you pick these and bite through that skin, suck out the juice, and then spit the seeds and skins out on the ground. Those seeds and skins. Um, it is a grape, but it's much more like a berry but it actually carries in it the nutrients you'd find in, in uh, healthy nuts, berries, grapes, et cetera. It's just loaded with nutrition, and, uh, and that's why it's considered the best superfruit. You know, whatever, whatever it is, the nutrient in that, in that fruit, it's in the muscadine. That's, that's one of the most amazing things about it. And that's why it is a super fruit. <clears throat> you can see from this chart, muscadine has all of these things, elagic acid, flavonoids, resveratrol, quercetin, gallic acid, anthocyanids, uh, cyanidins, the OPCs, and I can't even read that last one. Let's see, the catechins, okay? These are all found, plus much, much more in the muscadine. Um, this is just a, a little thing to show you. Over 145 published studies and more underway on the muscadine and the health benefits uh, from using it as a supplement. Um, it is an other. It's 10 times more than blueberries, 53 times higher than noni juice, and that's in its oxygen radical absorbance capacity of antioxidant power. However, what really is amazing is that it's not just how many total antioxidant it has, but how many, uh, the wide range of very different antioxidants are found within it, over a hundred different antioxidants. And so that's why it works kind of like a skeleton key for health because it works on pretty much anything because the body can take what it needs. It's like a magic puzzle piece, right? And fit it into place. So that's why it helps reduce inflammation. It boosts sexual response, helps brain function, gut biotics, energy levels, restful sleep, immune response, joint flexibility, blood chemistry, blood flow, weight loss, stress response, skin elasticity, the list goes on and on. It really does so many things. Okay. Our last ingredient in this product and powerful, powerful natural uh, botanical is fulvic minerals. 
And I know you're saying minerals, how can they be botanical? Well, they are because they are plant-based. They are a natural plant that has minerals in it. Um, these are basically plants that have decomposed fully and be fossils, but instead are still in their natural organic decomposed state. And they contain up to 75 different trace minerals in them. Now, why is this so important? Well, trace minerals and in these fulvic forms are much, much smaller in size, in particle size, and so the body can take them up more easily. They're also hydro, uh, hydrophilic, meaning they are hungry for water. And so when, when you combine them with water in our digestive system, they become naturally suspended in there and they then become assimilated much more easily. So you're taking a lot less uh, in each dose because the body is taking them up so readily. They're water soluble, non-toxic means the body will take what it needs and gets rid of what it doesn't. Um, it helps the body uh, support healthy digestion. It also supports the body's ability to detox and it replenishes all of these deficiencies we were talking about of all of the minerals that have been mined of our soils. And also as we are perspiring, as we are exercising, as we deal with stress, the body utilizes more and more of these minerals. See, plants are able to manufacture vitamins and amino acids and essential fatty acids. Plants can make those things with only the three minerals that are necessary in the soil but they cannot make minerals. The minerals have to be in the soil in order to be in the plant. And the plant's job is to prepare minerals, to take them from their inorganic, you know, their fossil state and break them down and process them so they're ready for absorption and digestion of, of humans and animals. So we depend very, very heavily on plants to prepare minerals so that our bodies can assimilate and use them. Otherwise, you know, we just eat rocks, but we don't we don't digest those rocks very well. So we, we rely on plants. That's why fulvic minerals are so important for for supplementation because you could be putting all sorts of rock minerals in your in your food and supplementing with all those minerals. But if you don't absorb them, you know it does you no good. They just end up in the toilet. So what the the neat thing fulvic minerals that have been taken out of the soil by plants. Those plants had them in them naturally occurring, and then these plants naturally never fossilized, so the mineral particles are still small, digestible, and easy and available for our bodies. So it overcomes the soil nutrient depletion, and it overcomes that problem we were talking about as, as the amount of minerals in our, in our foods has been dropping and the, the number of diseases has been increasing, we're going to increase the amount of nutrients and therefore bring down the amount of disease. So we're flip-flopping this chart. So what are we talking about? We are talking about a single product that has all of these uh, botanicals in it. It is a true botanical blend of pink Fijian ginger and Fijian turmeric, muscadine seeds and skins, and fulvic minerals all combined into one bottle. <laughs> so, so this is the easy thing is you open one lid, you take out a handful of these capsules and swallow them down, and you're getting all of the things that we've talked about in this presentation. And I'll even tell you a little tip. I, when I'm traveling and under increased stress and not sleeping as well, exposed to a lot of things uh, with the airplanes and so forth, I'll be doing, I double my dosage. I'll do six in the morning and six at night of these capsules. And it keeps you, keeps you going and, and uh, builds up that immunity so that you're not getting so susceptible. Um, the other thing that I'll tell you is it makes a wonderful herbal tea. So if you ever want to boost your immune system, natural compounds perform different when heated. It brings out a different expression of certain of those nutrients. And so if you get a cup of hot water and open up a couple of these capsules into that and stir it up, you will actually build up a great immunity tea that you can drink. Uh, sweeten it however you want, but I love that on the go as well. If I ever start to feel a little raspiness in my throat or think I might be coming down with something, just grab a couple capsules, put it in some hot water. You've got yourself a great immune booster. So there's a lot of great things that uh, you can do with this. I've got people telling me that they're opening the capsules and adding it to scrambled eggs and seasoning on their meat and all sorts of things. But just know you're getting the Fijian ginger and turmeric. 
you're getting the amazing muscadine seeds and skins, you're getting the fulvic minerals, and it's all in a single bottle, single capsules, um, and the recommended dosage is six capsules per day. But like I said, when I'm traveling or stressed, I'll, I'll double that. So we're excited to introduce to the Canaway family and to the world this amazing botanical blend called Roots and Fruits. And that's kind of a fun name, right? If you think of Roots and Fruits, it's one you can't forget. And we are very excited to hear back from all of you about the results you get with this amazing, amazing product that Canaway has made available to us. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch and listen to this. I hope this information has been helpful. Please pass it along to the people you care about because we all want to get the most out of life. And we, we've had a terrible, terrible report card the last 30 years. Let's, let's turn the tide on these diseases and this rising tide of disease. Let's turn it back by giving our body these amazing, amazing natural compounds um, and give the body what it needs to heal itself. And with that, I'm going to bring this to a close. Thank you, Patty Gardner, for getting us started. And I uh, wish a great evening uh, to you and to all of the Canaway family. Hey, thanks so much, Todd. Great, great information. And I absolutely love this product. Um, I have been a fan and I'm uh, of the individual components um but now that you've combined it it's just it's been great and and like you i like to double up on those so uh thanks for the sharing the information and uh we will uh get this posted and out to everyone please share it with your friends your family and everyone you love because everyone can benefit from this product so thanks so much todd smith thank you bye now All right, now that we know about all those amazing benefits and that fourth ingredient, the minerals, which is something I'm very excited about because I know when I was introduced to all essential plant minerals, there was such a big change in my health. My food cravings went away. I was so much more satiated. It was so much easier to maintain my weight. And I just overall felt so much better. Now, when it comes to the ginger, turmeric, and muscadine, we typically tell people, and this has been our experience, that if you, want a, if you want just a maintenance dose, like you don't have any health issues, you want to maintain your health, we typically like to see people taking about two of the ginger capsules, two of the turmeric capsules, and two of the muscadine capsules. That's maintenance, that's, you know, you've got no health issues going on. If you have some health issues, but let's say you might rate yourself as moderate, we like to be more in that four, three to four capsules. So four of the ginger, three to four of the turmeric, and three to four of the muscadine. So that's just pretty standard if you're taking them as separate products. So the Roots and Fruits product actually comes in a 180 count bottle, and that's by design it's designed so that you can take at least six and hit kind of those minimum targets, right? So a bottle would last a month at that dosing ratio. Now, what most people do is exactly what Todd was talking about in the video, because most of us are under extra stress. Most of us are dealing with extra immune challenges. We're dealing with vaccine shedding. There could be any number of things going on, right? Extra toxins, extra inflammation. So for most people, they're going to probably use two bottles a month. And if you do the two bottles a month, that would be 12 capsules. And it's your choice. You can take that, divide it up with mills. You can take it in two doses. I would divide it up just so you're getting the most nutrition, right? Because when you spread nutrition out, it's going to be more effective. So if you're doing 12, you're going to get roughly the equivalent. And it's not exact because of just how the numbers come out. but you're gonna be getting roughly three ginger, four turmeric, and about two and a half of the boost capsules, and a full dose of the fulvic minerals for an adult. And that is a really important addition. Just the addition of the minerals actually makes the ginger, turmeric, and muscadine work better through a synergistic effect, and they already work amazingly on their own. So even at that dose, you're doing really, really, really well. 
Now, if you're like me and you have more severe health issues or you really want to work on making sure you don't have those severe health issues, this is where if you do 18 capsules a day, that's going to get you that about four and a half capsules of ginger, six of turmeric, four of the boost, and a full dose again of the fulvic minerals. You're actually going to be about a dose and a half on the fulvic minerals, which is really more minerals are better because after all, they're two thirds of the essential nutrients the body needs every day. And if you're going to be taking that dose, you're going to be at three bottles a month. So that should give you an idea if you're wanting to compare. Now, there are a few advantages to doing it as the roots and fruits, right? You only have one bottle to open, so it's easier if you're traveling. You don't have to have three bottles. The minerals aren't available in any product other than the roots and fruits currently. So that's a great way to get those extra minerals. So from a standpoint of convenience and even, even from cost, you're spending less money if you do the math, if you're doing the roots and fruits than the individual products, simply because it's all packaged together. And when we do nutritional manufacturing, we actually can save a lot of money when we go to more capsules in a bottle and we start combining things rather than all these individual capsules. So you won't actually end up taking fewer capsules because there is only so much we can fit in a capsule. There is only so much room, right? But you're going to just have the convenience of one bottle and it becomes a little simpler for your daily dosing there. Now, these are available, these roots and fruits, they're available at Canaway. So if you have a Canaway account already, just go to your account. You can add it to your auto ship. You'll get the best pricing there. If you don't have a Canaway account, there's a link on the screen. You can create one or if you're already purchasing from my website at wellnessspringsinc.com, just go to the members only section and you can pick these up there. And coming in June, there will be a third option that will be even a little bit more convenient than either of these two, but currently they're available at both Canaway and wellnessspringsinc.com. So I hope that you found this helpful. I'd love to hear some more feedback from you as you try this product. I've gotten some great feedback from some of you already, loving the convenience, especially if you're people that travel a lot or are really busy, or maybe you have children and you just need something simple. They don't want to take a bunch of stuff, but you can get something into them. This is another great use for that. And that brings us to the end of today's podcast. Remember, you can find all the prior recordings at livinghealthytoday.podbean.com. We will link all of the links from this episode down in the show notes and resources underneath the podcast itself. And as always, you can contact us with any questions, info at wellnessfreezing.com or go to wellnessfreezing.com to the contact page. And I will see you soon for episode 153. Thank you so much.